Hey, what's up, folks? Hope you had an excellent Thanksgiving and that you're taking it easy on this uh, Black Friday. We're here in the shop uh, getting a bunch of stuff out the door, hopefully, today uh, for, uh, for the customers. But I wanted to uh, share with you something uh, really cool that's come out recently. Now, you guys already know about the uh, DIYholster.com uh, light-bearing widget tool, which we love. It saves us a ton of time, even though uh, we're mostly making these for... Uh, you know, custom walk-ins, that's even better considering we don't have a whole hell of a lot of time to get them done. It saves us a lot of prep time, it gives us a really consistent uh, uh, impression, and they work fantastic, and I'm really happy that somebody came out with these. My uh, immediate next question for uh, Bobby and Patrick over at uh, DIY Holster was, can you make something like this that solves the problem of clearancing revolver cylinders. Because just like uh, the light uh, channel tool, you spend a lot of time, you make it out of wood, it disintegrates, you have to make it again and again, and uh, you spend a lot of time shaping this thing that you might not use that frequently. So one of the reasons we were able to come out with the City Special, which has you know ambidextrous clearance, is because we uh, asked them if they would make a tool that uh, fits J-frame cylinders. So here it is. This was our uh, pre-production model. We have had to do small modifications on it just because this is a prototype, but I want to show you how this works. So here we go. We've got our J-frame revolver here. It's unloaded. And um, the way this comes, I had to shave it down just a little bit in here to fit the, um, the shrouded hammer frame here. But uh, that's not a big deal. It took like two seconds, and uh, it still fits everything just fine. What you are going to want to do is, to make the mold, you're going to want to easy peasy, remove the grips. It takes two seconds. Grips come off. Bing, bang, boom. Your grips are off. Set these aside somewhere you're not going to lose them. And then you also take off the uh, cylinder release on this, and that comes off super easy. Set that somewhere you're not going to lose it. There's a little uh, channel cut here for the remaining threaded post that activates the cylinder release, and this slips on over the back of the pistol and fits perfectly around the cylinder on both sides. This will fit uh, J-frames with and without a uh, shrouded hammer with a small amount of uh, clearancing here. Um, but this thing uh, works fantastic. We get a really super consistent, uh, how many more of these do I have I'm sitting over here? Uh, excellent mold every single time. It doesn't uh, deform in any significant way, and uh, it just gives us a great consistency, allows us to make this product as well as uh, just, you know, saves us a lot of time uh, in the uh, manufacture of revolver holsters. So far, they have these for the J-frame. Uh, we're doing a couple little things here and there, hoping to uh, expand uh, the selection of these. But as for now, this thing works great, and I'm really happy that uh, they uh, uh, took us up on it and uh, tackled this project. And uh, yeah, these should be coming out to you guys pretty soon. So uh, thanks to DIY Holster for uh, making this, and uh, hope you guys have good luck with your projects.